All right, so what I'd like to do right now is take a look at the new Zune desktop software. It is radically different than the previous version and I think a huge improvement. I'm going to start it up and uh, as I start it up I should just mention that this machine has uh, 2 gigs of RAM, uh, fairly standard 7200 RPM, 300 gig hard drive, and uh, it's an AMD, uh, I think it's a 5000 plus on the CPU. So uh, a decently fast machine, but nothing record breaking. And uh, that will give you an idea about the performance of the Zoom software on your own machine. So as you can tell, it starts up uh, pretty much instantly. Uh, the list populates right away. A quick double click will allow the software to go full screen. Um, now, this software uh, took roughly about 20 to 30 minutes in order to uh, find all of my media. Uh, so. To put that into perspective, depending on your own system, uh, that is um, 13,263 songs. I'll click over here to the uh, video tab. That is uh, 188 videos. And in pictures, it was um, 18,031 pictures. So 20 to 30 minutes for uh, indexing all of that content is actually not too bad. So I think the Zoom uh, deserves some props for that. Let me uh, zoom out here and we'll take a look at the uh, music collection, the whole uh, user interface. So the UI in this new application is um, quite a bit different than the previous versions. So I'll walk you through a little bit of it. Um, over on the uh, left hand side here, what you have is a list of all of the um, artists sorted A through Z. Um, it's, uh, you can click on an, on an artist, see I'll click on a little ACDC and um, Hmm. For whatever reason, I'm seeing some album art for uh, Alice in Chains. I've actually noticed this a few times, and I'm quite sure that all of my album art is correct, but I think that the Zoom is maybe finding album art that is in the same folder, which is that whole folder versus embedded argument. So I'm definitely going to need to take a look at that. Um, but you have everything a list here. You can pretty quickly scroll through it. You can see uh, as I drag down, uh, the scrolling action is quite is quite smooth. I can go from the first artist all the way down to the last artist without much of a delay, and that's 599 artists. Um, if I click on the whole artists, uh, the whole tab rather, you can sort A to Z or Z to A. Um, let me just scroll up here a little bit, and uh, you'll be able to see. Actually, what's kind of interesting is I'm not entirely sure how to go back to um, seeing all of my music. Okay, so there's all the music. Now you have the thumbnails, as I pointed out earlier, when you mouse over the album art, it gives you a little uh, highlight, makes it a little bit bigger, and it also adds a drop shadow. I think that's a really cool effect. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and show you the sort of performance level uh, of how it scans your art. Um, you can scroll down relatively uh, easily. You can see that it will uh, draw the album art for you. I would actually kind of prefer it if the album art was already sort of cached, you know, so you wouldn't actually see any regeneration at all. But this does happen really, really quick, so I can't complain too much. And then also if I scroll, you'll see that there's no um, direct album art. Now next we're going to take a look at the uh, video section. Before I pop over to the video section or the playlist section, uh, I want to switch over to the list view. So up in the uh, top right hand corner here, you have the options to switch between browse and list. And when I click on the list view, and let me zoom out here, you get sort of your traditional uh, text-based uh, lists where uh, you can right click on an artist and I will zoom in so you can see the menu options there. You have the choice to play all, play, add to playlist, burn list, edit and then there's the rating. So the uh, black filled in heart and I'm not entirely sure why they made it black I guess to keep it monochromatic. The black heart means that you like the song. The little broken heart means you don't like it and the white means that there's actually no rating. So if you want to derate a song, you would click on the white heart. Now if I click on properties, it's kind of interesting. It shows me a, a properties window that is still within the Zune software. So it doesn't look like windows, you can't move it around, um, but it gives you the basics of the song. Now mixed into here, we have a whole bunch of different content. Um, we have some uh, we have video files that I've actually pulled down. We have um, we have uh, videos uh, uh, DVDs that I've ripped myself, and then mixed into all of this, we actually have the uh, media center um, content. So right here, for example, I have uh, the movie The Messenger. Now, if I right click on that, I can go into uh, edit mode, and I can change the file name, but I can't change any of the metadata. 
one of the questions that somebody asked in our forums was how do you change the metadata so that it syncs over properly to the Zune and, and you can uh, you know organize your TV shows by episode and other things and so far it's not looking like there's a good way to do that because uh, obviously the, 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 the properties window which is what I'm looking at right here um, so this is a DVR MS file meaning a media center recorded show the bit rate it says it is 80,179 kilobits per second that seems a little bit high uh, 720 by 480 and again unfortunately none of this uh, data here is able to be edited so I can't actually change the file name or, or kind of do anything with it what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to um, double click on an icon here and I will show you what what the video mode looks like because it's actually quite interesting how the zoom uh, plays back video so I'm just gonna zoom a little bit here I'll double click on the file and you'll see it quickly does a kind of a fade to black and then it loads up the video and this is a, a clip from the office that I recorded off of TV now down at the bottom you'll see that uh, it shows you the name of the uh, the show um, it shows you of course a, uh, a timeline so I can slide ahead and it immediately pops over so I'm seeing really really good performance uh, that way from uh, this particular uh, video clip and then down in the right hand corner I still have options uh, to um, adjust the volume uh, forward to the next uh, clip or exit from this user interface now what's noticeably absent is that you see this is a, a widescreen clip there's actually no way to um, force it to go wide widescreen so there's no aspect ratio switch here so again unfortunately if you have any widescreen content I this would appear to mean uh, that you're not gonna be able to watch it in uh, widescreen mode um, the performance of course is, is is still actually quite good overall you can see that I, I can uh, shrink this video down it will keep playing at its full frame rate. I can go into Vista and use its controls to pop around from uh, application to application. Everything's still good. I can maximize and it hasn't dropped any frames. So that's actually uh, very, very impressive. Once I'm done, I click exit and it moves back to uh, the um, videos. Now what's interesting is that um, it keeps playing. When you click exit, it doesn't actually stop. You actually have to have to, have to hit pause, click exit, and then you, you head back to your, your, um, your videos. So what I would have preferred to see here, of course, would be um, something that would allow me to separate my content out. You know, so if I have TV shows and I have movies that are recorded off a of TV, and then I have my own video clips. I mean, I have a whole bunch of different content here, and it's all organized uh, by folder. And there's really no way to uh, to view that. I I don't see any uh, any ability to. Um, change the sorts uh, by any kind of a folder and that's definitely something that I would have preferred to see so that's about it for videos we're definitely going to talk about the transcoding and the synchronization and how all that works later uh, up next we're going to look at pictures